Okay, for our first music theory lesson, we're going to talk about intervals. So, all the notes that we have, right, we have 12 notes in Western music. Each one of those it has a specific name, and there are 12, and each one is called by its interval name. So, if you are starting on the open string, the note on the 12th fret is the same note. It repeats again. So we have 12 notes. The interval is the distance between any one of those notes. So if you play the octave or the same note, that's called an octave. Each other one of these has its own specific name, and they're subdivided in steps. A half step is one fret. A whole step is going to be two frets, right? And on guitar, we have A through G. Those are our note names. So you might be saying to yourself, well, G is only the seventh note in the alphabet. You said, you said there was 12. Well, in between those notes, with two exceptions, you have what's called accidentals, or sharps or flats. Sharps means you're going up. Flat means you're going down. And they exist everywhere except in between B and C and E and F. So for example, if we start on the open six string, that's E. There's nothing in between E and F. So F is the first fret, right? And then you have F sharp or G flat, G, G sharp, or A flat. Remember, there's no H, right? It goes back to A. A, A sharp or B flat, B, C. Remember, there's no note in between B and C. C, C sharp or D flat, D, D sharp or E flat, and then finally back to E. Let's do the same thing on the A string. So you have A, A sharp or B flat, B, C, no note in between B and C. Memorize that. C sharp, D flat. D, D sharp or E flat, E, F, no note between E and F, F sharp or G flat, G, G sharp or A flat, and finally back to A, the octave. So those are our note names, A through G sharp, and now let's talk about the interval names. Again, the interval is the distance between any note to another note. And they each have their own specific sound, so it's important to think in terms of the sound and get a feel for it. For example, the octave. Sounds like the same note, just higher or lower. But what if we go... That's a third, or... That's a sixth. They each have very specific sounds. So let's start at the beginning. You have your root. When you go up one half step from your root, you have what's called a minor second. So in the, in the, in the E, if you start on E, E, F would be your minor second. Then you have your second, or your major second, minor third, major third, perfect fourth, sharp four, or flat five, perfect fifth, minor six, six, minor seven, seven, and there's your tonic again, your octave. Again, it doesn't matter where you start. If we start on A, right? If A is one, if A is our root, right? If you go up a half step, minor second, second, minor third, third, Perfect fourth, flat five or sharp four. Perfect fifth, flat six, six, flat seven, major seven, root. So the important thing to do here is one, memorize what notes are in uh, Western music. So remember, it's A through G sharp, except between B and C and E and F, there's no accidentals. The note in between any two notes can either be sharp if you're going up, flat if you're going down. So the note between F and G is either F sharp or G flat, depending if you're going up or down. So I want to see you post a video where you tell me the names of all the notes up to the 12th fret on two strings, 
along with their interval names. So I'm looking forward to your videos and good luck.